Welcome back to Terraria Expert Mode. Last time we defeated this weird floating eyeball thing. It doesn't really look dangerous, but it has at least 15 different types of steroids in it, man. First thing I wanted to do this episode was obtain the NPC, the arms dealer. Yes, there's guns in this game. Are you surprised? I decided to multitask and build the house for the arms dealer in the desert because I needed a desert pylon. Pylons are special items you can only buy from NPCs with maximum happiness. You can increase their happiness by not making the place too crowded, placing them near NPCs they like, and in biomes they prefer. The arms dealer and the nurse are actual soulmates, man. It's really cute to see their dialogue about each other. Anyway, I got the desert pylon and the bullets I needed, and I was on my way to try and set up an arena for the next boss I needed to fight. The Eater of Worlds. It is a giant worm that digs around and tries to circle you. Before I could even get there though, a goblin army approached. These events are so annoying pre-hard mode, because money is basically the only thing you can get from them, except spiky balls. But no one likes spiky balls. Is there a guy out there that genuinely thinks these things are useful? I didn't think so. So now we were on our way to defeat the Eater of Worlds. To summon one, you needed to break three shadow worms, which appear in the underground corruption biome. You can't actually mine the blocks to get to them, but you can use bombs, which I used to explode the orbs away. As soon as it spawns, we're gonna run. We're gonna run. Go, 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 go. Eater of Worlds is awoken. There it is, there it is, okay. Oh, the Featherfall Potion is really helping, though. It's really helping. We need to get to the, we need to get to the platform. We need to get to the platform. Wait, okay. Ooh, almost closed me in there. Frick, I can't get up there. No, frick, okay. Oh, no, it's closing me in. I died! I just died! Uh, Night Owl Potion. Featherfall Potion. There's a trap there. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. We're going quick, we're going quick. Oh, we're go I'm going so- Oh. Yes, yes. You're going great. Uh, not so great. Not so great. Close it. Not anymore, not anymore. I'm out, I'm out. Okay, okay, yes. Yes. That was basically the hardest part of the fight. Now I just throw, now I just throw grenades down. Oh frick! Oh yeah, I forgot that he, he spits acid at me in expert mode. Why is that not doing any damage? What? Two attempts that both failed miserably. The first time I couldn't escape fast enough. The second time I forgot that in expert mode, this guy spits acid in your direction, and it spits a lot of it. If I was going to have a chance of defeating it. I needed shelter, so I built a quick house and tried again. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, and some foam. Frick, no, let's not explode. And we're back up. Yeah, okay. This might work. Hopefully, this works. Please work. Okay, you're kidding me. You're actually you're actually joking. You're actually joking. That is just cruel. That's just cruel! That's just cruel! You get it from now on. I just ran inside, threw a few grenades down, ran inside, and repeat. This fight took about 10 minutes, but after some time. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm such a noble warrior. Yes! I succeeded. Using the gear from the Eater of Worlds, the next boss fight will be a little less difficult, I hope. 